Hello, this is Eagle. Uh, today, going to be doing a, another mod tutorial. This time, going to be about uh, altering uh, weapon attachments so that their values are a bit different. Which, for this example, I'm going to be not using one of the default weapons. I'm actually going to be using a modded weapon since you primarily have the balancing issue with mods other people make. It's really just a personal opinion thing. Anyways, so for this example, I'm going to be using the Deagle mod. Now, to basically edit someone else's mod, you don't set the mod as the active file, because otherwise you're going to be messing with the base mod itself. Instead, we are going to simply open it up and create our own plugin, which uses... Uh, the things from this plugin, similarly to the way that we use the Fallout 4.esm. Really, this tutorial is just here because um, a common issue that arises whenever you try and do this is that sometimes whenever you attach the weapon, the weapon or the mod or whatever it is, becomes invisible which is a problem, since you can't have an invisible gun. And frankly, I'm just stalling while this loads, because it's taking a lot longer than it should. Let's see, I may as well talk about um, the next video idea while this is loading. Next video, I'm probably going to do a little bit of uh, texturing, you know, making your own poster or flag. And, or, not so much as retexturing as creating. That way you can have the base items as well as the item you want to create, unless you truly just want to alter the original content, then that's completely fine. It's basically the same steps. And this is finally loaded. So, to start things off, we gotta find... Yeah, we have to find what weapon you want to mess with. In this case, I'm going to be altering some uh, deagle. Well, the deagle, so find where the Desert Eagle stuff is, and now we have to decide which uh, attachment we want to either buff or uh, nerf. In this case, I'm just going to be doing the Powerful Receiver. So I'm just going to go to this first, and just going to rename it. Uh, a little... Description of it can be damage. Really, this is the main part that we're going to be focusing on, which uh, for the molt add, this is going to decide, or this is basically going to take whatever value it already has, and it's going to multiply it by, multiply and add it by this much. So say the weapon had 10 damage, it would multiply it by 0.5 and then add whatever number it gets. In this case, I'm just going to set it, because we can also just add a base number, or we can just set it. So just gonna, I'm just going to set it to 1. And uh, we'll actually be back here whenever we, after we've messed with that. Because now we need to uh, continue messing with other things to match the Deagle nerf. So I'm going to go up here to the powerful receiver. Change this one to nerf as well. Uh, create a new form. Keep going up to here. And do the same thing. And then go up to here and select the mod nerf. 
And the reason why we're doing this is because what we're creating uh, for the CO, the CO is the actual recipe for the mod itself, while this is what the mod appears like whenever it is, say, on the ground. So, as you can tell here, it's like the little box of junk. Anyways. And then this is the actual stats for it, which we're actually going to go back into here. And then change this back to this, so that it all matches up. Now, the model is what usually messes up, which whenever I was testing this out, I did notice that the model was not really appearing in game. And the way that I ended up fixing this was actually creating, or find, first of all, finding it, because whenever I first opened it up, it would appear under, it would just open up meshes, and you just follow the links to here. And I created a copy of this. Uh, if it eventually does it, paste it. And then rename it to uh, which the reason why it's complaining about that is because I was testing this mod out earlier so the nerf already exists so there we go have that click OK now it has its own uh, model as well which I was going to call that nerf and then click OK, which I'm actually just going to check this really quick since I do believe that I have everything. And it loads. This video will go a lot faster. And uh, yes, I do actually have everything, which, uh, oh yes, this is also another thing that I guess you can do to balance it out. So say I think that this is too much um, things to be asking for. I could just change all of these so that it's uh, less. And there we go. Now, not only is the actual stats for the weapon mod now nerfed, I've also nerfed the actual weapon damage so I'm just going to save that as, uh, we'll just name it uh, Eagle Modification Nerf. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up Fallout 4 and show you guys how it looks. All right, so here we are in game, which I'm just going to equip the Desert Eagle. That we're going to be, or that we altered. Just going to go in here. And if we look under the receivers, now we can see that our uh, nerf is right here. So, gives our little description, has uh, all the ingredients, which if we go down to the powerful, which we was the uh, original, uh, we can tell that, you know, all those are different. Which, another thing that I failed to show was that we could have actually changed the perk required to make this. We could have uh, made it so there was no perk needed, or we could have actually changed the perk that was required, such as uh, Idiot Savant, since, I mean, honestly, who would, who would do that? I mean, at least now, even though it's nerfed, it looks pretty. Now then. One thing that I have not seen how to do yet, or have not found out how to do yet, although I'm sure I could have found it with a little bit more poking around, was how to change it so that Powerful doesn't appear in front of Deagle and instead have it be nerfed. Uh, I'm sure that I'll write it down in the description should I find it, but until then, this is basically just how to edit a um a weapon attachment so that the damage and ingredients and such are altered for balancing or for fun 
So that's the end of this video and hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.